The first clinical trial is underway, testing a new male contraceptive that could be a game changer for preventing pregnancy. The National Institutes of Health are enrolling about 420 couples to use an experimental gel. If proven effective, it would be the first hormonal birth control for men. The gel is applied daily to the back and shoulders. It's absorbed through the skin and blocks the production of sperm. Our Dr. Tara Narula is here to talk about this. Tara, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. So why apply a gel instead of just taking a pill? It sounds very interesting. So testosterone given orally is cleared from the body very quickly. So they found that the gel, getting it through the skin, is absorbed and stays in the system longer. So this product's been in development for over 10 years. And basically what it is is a combination of two hormones, progestin, which is the typical hormone that is found actually in female oral contraceptive pills, which they put in there to suppress sperm production to trick the body and testosterone, which is the male sex hormone, so that there's normal circulating levels of testosterone so that men don't lose their libido or their sexual function or have any changes in mood. So in this study, the men are going to apply the gel to their upper arm skin of their shoulders every single day, and then the researchers are going to monitor their sperm count over a couple months. When the sperm count has declined enough, they're going to tell the couples, only use the gel as your form of oral contraception, and they're going to watch them for one year. And then they're going to see the effectiveness of preventing pregnancy, and they're going to ask the couples, how did you like using the gel? Then they're going to go on and follow the men for about six months after to see if their sperm counts recover. So is it like a birth control pill? In other words, you have to use the gel every single day? They have to use it every day, exactly. And what about when couples decide that they do want to conceive? Right, so the, the nice thing about this, and most of the uh, drugs that they're studying that are hormonal like this, the sperm counts do seem to go up when the gel stops. And so the suppression that they want to achieve is less than one million sperm per milliliter, and then normal sperm counts are greater than 15 million per milliliter. And so you do want to see that, and it usually happens over a couple months. So it's not permanent? It is not permanent. Most of the responsibility for birth control has been on women, and it's been 50 years, right, since the FDA approved the pill. Is this part of a change in terms of looking at new ways to provide contraception for both sexes? I think absolutely. And so really men have had condoms, vasectomy, and withdrawal. None of these are really ideal. And there have been a couple issues as to why we don't see this in the, for men yet. And one has to do with the biology of it. It's much more difficult to suppress the development of 150 million sperm per day than it is to suppress one or two eggs per month. Mm. It's also a normal state for women to be pregnant where you can give them an oral contraceptive and it mimics pregnancy. It's not really normal to produce a state in men where they're not producing sperm. The second has to do with the fact that industry really has not dipped their toe into this arena. And so it's really been left to nonprofits and governments to do research on this. And also the regulatory issue is there. Um, the, the regulatory standards are a lot higher in this case for men. It's also nice to see that the onus isn't always on the woman, right? This, this There's is an really option about for, for men. gender equity. I'm Absolutely. down for that. Yeah. I'm down for that. As the one male at the table, I'm down for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're enrolling. Vlad approved. They're enrolling in the <laughs> Hold on a second. The sites around the country. <laughs> Volunteer. <laughs> Fine, Here, I'll do thank it. Thank you. You're welcome.